To what group of drugs does Kagetin belong? What effect does the drug have? In medicine, there are certain drugs that impress us, in that they possess several positive medicinal properties. Kagetum is one such medication. The drug is unique in that it is, above all, an adaptogen. This means it is a drug which improves the body's ability to adapt to new conditions of physical and psychological stress, or even to changes in environment that put strain on body. It is an anotropic, however, it possesses an anotropic effect, is that right? The anotropic effect is one of the several. Since the drug is a synthetic analog to the aspiritic acid, the medication itself is amino acid and has several effects. I'll list them off. First and foremost, it improves the function of excitatory transmitters in the central nervous system. Uh, that is the process of stimulation and depression. It stabilizes the pr these processes while at the same time stimulating the nervous system. The drug also improves metabolic processes while improving the energetic capability of the nervous system, that is, the endurance of nervous system. It is unique in that, in addition to all of this, it improves the patient's ability to manage stress and conditions that led to the nervous system fatigue. At the same time, it works to alleviate uh, depressive states. In other words, the drug helps to treat anxiety and depression. Its effect even works on the action of the central nervous system. It strengthens energetic potential, improves the functional state of the nervous system, improves the energetic quality of the process of the stimulation and depression. It also possesses a tonic, antidepressant effect. However, in practice, it turns out that the drug also plays a role in DNA synthesis and is an amino acid. It improves the function of the proteins and brain cells, that is, metabolic processes. Furthermore, it improves the function of the immune system by aiding in the production of antibodies and interferons. The drug also provides an effect on the body's resistance to various kinds of infection where immunity needs to be strengthened. The drug also offers a heptoprotective effect, in that it improves the restorative function of the liver. You can see how far-reaching the effects of this drug are. What is the main active component of Cogitum? Acetylaminosacinic acid is the main active ingredient. Its synthetic analog is aspiratic acid. Aspiratic acid is an amino acid needed by the body and is one of the amino acids necessary for the functioning proteins in the brain cells, as well as proteins in general. It is a composite drug that contains precisely this active substance, acetylaminosacinic acid. Is it available without a prescription? It is available without a prescription. It is sold at pharmacies and dispensed when prescribed by a doctor, but does not fall under the group A, that is, it is not highly potent. It is not a control substance. Most importantly, it does not cause dependence, accumulate in the body, nor it is addictive. When is kagetum used to treat adults? For what sorts of pathologies and illnesses it is used? The drug is very good in terms of the universality of its application. Adaptation to environmental changes, tonic effect, immune system support. For this reason, we prescribe it to treat asthenic as well as depressive conditions. We use it in neuropathology, psychiatry, drug treatment and psychotherapy. It can be used to treat anxieties and phobias, neurosis, chronic stress and psychological strain. We use it to treat conditions where there are signs of nervous system fatigue and lowered immunity. We use the drug in all of these cases. The drug can also be administered to children. In what cases is this recommended? Yes, we use the drug in pediatric practice when the child exhibits delayed de development, when doctors notice delays in speech development, psychological development, or in combination of psycho-emotional delays. We use it to treat delayed physical or speech development. This can occur when a child is under a lot of stress or after serious illness, infection or trauma. That is, when the nervous system is fatigued and we need to increase while simultaneously strengthen the protective power of the body, of the immune system. We use the drug to treat these conditions. We can also use it if a child has trouble adapting, let's say to education, a new school or new stressors. For example, if the child is taking new subjects while at the same time taking physical education or learning a language and has trouble adapting. The medication helps to overcome these stressors. These are kinds of reasons we might prescribe medication to child. Can we use the drug to treat stuttering, alalia or dysarthria? 
Yes, as a part of complex treatment. We understand that with speech disorders, difficulties and delays in speech development, we require the aid of speech therapists. In such cases, the most important thing is rehabilitation and practice. The emphasis is on sessions with specialists to correct speech impairments. Kegidum can help the child quickly learn new material and overcome these problems. That is, as part of a complex therapy, we will prescribe and use this medication. Can the drug also be used as part of a complex therapy for treating autism? Of course! The medication stimulates the nervous system, without overstimulating it. Its unique quality is that it doesn't overstimulate, but at the same time increases the patient's ability to socialize, overcome difficulties in the real situation, and defeat psychological barriers that children with autism are aware of, experience and feel. Actually, as a part of a complex therapy, of course, the medication is indicated for such use. How about attention deficit and hyperactivity? Well, the drug does have a stimulating, activating effect, and therefore we would more strongly recommend glycine. Glycine is a simple drug that is also a minute acid. It strengthens the nervous system, but has calming rather than stimulating effect. We recommend glycine in cases of hyperactivity, where children have attention problems, have trouble concentrating on the tasks, are distracted, have difficulty sleeping at night. Children who have trouble falling asleep every night and suffer from fatigue in the morning. Naturally, the dosing is determined by age, however, the medication can be taken from early childhood, practically from the infancy. On the other hand, Kegetum is generally prescribed to older children. How is the drug prescribed to adults? Considering that the drug is primarily prescribed to adults, it is administered in doses of 3 ampules a day, 2 ampules with 10 milliliters in the morning, in the first half of the day, and one after lunch. In total, three ampules a day, to be taken after eating. It is the standard. In general, we observe no complications. How quick is the onset of the medication? Does it have a cumulative quality? If, say, we administer a dose to children once a day, we understand that the main effect will take action in the first half of the day. The effect lasts 12 to 14 hours. This is the activating effect, which then stops. However, the main effect, which equalizes stimulation and depression, adapts the body, prepares it to handle new stressors and aids its function, lasts for entire day. Therefore, considering that there are several effects, we recommend children to take the medication once a day. Adults will need two doses a day to achieve the proper effect. That is, some of the effects last 12 to 14 hours, while some last the entire day. How long is the course of Kegetum for adults? The course of treatment is three weeks. It is recommended for use for up to three weeks, 21 days. A package of a drug contains 20 or 30 ampules. That's why, if you have bought 20 ampules, and no one will give you one more from another box, the course is 20 days. If you plan to take medication for a longer period, you may buy a package of 30 ampules, take the medication for 21 days, and save the rest for the next course of the treatment. What kinds of side effects does the medication have? Firstly, I'd like to say that through analysis and observation of patients taking Kegetum, complications appear to be very rare. Complications in the form of pruritus and urticaria are insignificant compared to what we might expect from the drug. So often a brief cessation is enough to eliminate these complications. Sometimes it might be necessary to delay the treatment of the course for another time. We have not observed any other complications. Is overdose possible? The drug is expensive, and therefore we usually say it isn't recommended in larger doses. At larger doses it will not have a stronger therapeutic effect. Large doses won't have any effect. That's why we rarely see cases where someone has taken a larger dose. However, when analyzed, we see that there are no associated side effects with taking larger doses. That is, overdose has not been observed. Who should not take Kegetum? The drug is not recommended for children under 7 years old, those with allergic reactions, such as hives or itching, it is best to take a break from medication, perhaps stop using it entirely. We don't recommend the drug for those with signs of hyperactivity of the nervous system, that is, caution should be applied for patients with epilepsy, as well as those with conditions where their mental excitement or hyperactivity. That's why it should be used at the advice of a doctor, so that parents don't apply the medication themselves in such cases. What kind of less expensive analogs are there to Kegetum? The medication is quite expensive. There are adaptogens medications uh, we know of, 
such as pantocrine. You've heard of this drug. It is made from deer antlers. There are also ginseng. Uh, there are also ginkgo biloba, which is also used to increase brain function and improve the body's resistance. There are many other medications which improve metabolism while also being nootropics. These are bifren, phenobot, visamin. These drugs are analogs, however they do not offer the complex effect of cogitum.